This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Check out this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the US had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. That's a big, big problem for all of us with food and gas and everything else going up. But it's terrible if you're planning on retiring anytime soon. It's not too late. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs, so their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Not many people can relax with inflation this high, but like thousands of others, with Noble Gold, you'll be okay. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. What has gone wrong in the coverage in the last two weeks in your view? Here, there's been a gross failure by the U.S. media by the instant equation of the fall of Kabul with the fall of Saigon, which it has almost nothing in similar in similar that is similar except for the pictures of helicopters. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Real quick, I did my recording today and realized that my camera had died about halfway through. So today's video is just going to be voiceovers. I'm sorry. What? Almost nothing in common, you say except for the helicopter pictures. Well, yes, there were pictures that looked very similar to what we saw during the fall of Saigon, but of course, instead of helos, we were using mostly planes. But at its heart, these events were very similar. As the Taliban began to take control of Kabul, we scrambled to leave. And make no mistake, that was a huge blunder of the Biden regime, who were given the opportunity to take control of all Kabul before the pullout. But that offer was astonishingly turned down. Not to mention leaving the Bagram Air base, which turned out to be another huge blunder. The point is, this withdrawal from Afghanistan was an unmitigated disaster that has completed with hundreds, maybe even thousands of Americans stranded there to be used as hostages or propaganda for the Taliban or one of the many Islamic terrorist groups that are there. After four years of democracy dies in darkness and holding power to account, but now there's a Democrat occupying the White House, which means that any critical coverage of anyone other than Joe Biden's political opponent is a bad thing. So the comparisons between Saigon and Kabul, which we heard a lot two weeks ago, you're saying those were, those were beside the point. It, it, it flattens the reality of what happened in the Vietnam War to say that hmm. what's happening in Kabul now, tragic as it is, is similar to that. That was one of the dumbest f***ing things I've ever heard. What the hell does that even mean? Nobody knows what that means. But Brian Stelter responds with a, hmm, climate change. I mean, my God, this hurricane is a monster. Ah. Uh, what do you say about proportionality and about how much Afghanistan should be the front page story versus COVID or climate change or other stories? Oh, okay. So these just the facts, hard nosed democracy defending superheroes just want to talk about topics that they can use to spread fear. Talking about Afghanistan just hurts Joe Biden and ultimately Democrats going into the midterms. So I think that a challenge for us in the media is to try to keep multiple things in view. The hardest thing about being president, I say having worked in the White House decades ago for Jimmy Carter, is that a president is having to deal with emergencies on all fronts all the time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. so this guy worked for Jimmy Carter, arguably the worst president of all time next to Joe Biden. Now this is all making sense. And don't you just love his excuses here? Being president is a hard job. Weird that he took the completely opposite position while covering Donald Trump, who he called, quote, a purveyor of misdeeds and destructive acts that are legion and should be harshly investigated by Joe Biden. He literally called the election of Donald Trump a mere month after he took office, quote, the most grievous blow that the American idea has suffered in my lifetime. But now suddenly that his guy is in office, it's all. So I think that a challenge for us in the media is to try to keep multiple things in view the hardest thing about being president, I say having worked in the White House decades ago for Jimmy Carter. Yeah, go f*** yourself, James. This blatant Biden regime propaganda was brought to you by Dove and Kayak. Don't give your money to people who are destroying the country and also hate you. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and maybe think about subscribing. Also, let us all know what you think in the comment section.